the, the, the choreography of the live action and the animation in perfect sync is, it's marvelous. Well, it, that was my favorite part of making this film. And I knew, I always use myself as a barometer. Okay, so uh, I'm not directing the film, but I'm gonna go see it. What would, I, would I be upset if there weren't a animation sequence with live action? I would be disappointed because I feel it's in the DNA of the material. So when, I, when, when we decided to do it, I, I said, but I really want it to be hand drawn because I feel that's a piece of art. I didn't, uh, and, and, and I wanted to honor that craft. But it's very hard to find animators who can do that, so a lot of animators came out of retirement to do it. And, and 20-somethings who want to, who, who, who were desperate to learn the, the, the s not the computer generated the animation, but the art of that old school kind of animation. And so, because of that, I had to go to Disney, and they were extraordinary because I said, the, our post production is going to take twice as long, because it, because it's going to it's hand drawn. It's going to take over a year to do that, and they said, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. I got I I I was just anyway. It was. It, I think they understood that it was it was the right thing to do, and so for me, the the key to something like that is preparation and imagination. So the, one of the first things we did was, and this was I unbelievable, and I will never forget it as long as I live. At the Disney lot, there's a, a little bungalow called the Hyperion Bungalow, which is the original bungalow from the Walt Disney Studios, and they moved it there. It's the only thing that looks like a little old, little old movie studio. And so we all met there, myself and John and David McGee, and the, uh, uh, the composers, Mark and Scott, and a room full of animators. And we had a basic outline of what we were going to do, but we, we said that we have to create this together as a collaboration. The thing is, we had like our little pads of paper and stuff, and they had little pens and watercolors, and they never, the, all they did was draw. So I'd say, well, so we're thinking that there might be like a journey in this Royal Dalton Bowl, and they go through the, they, they, they're, they're going through the, the scene that's painted on the, the bowl, and they're ending up, and so, and, and, and no one's looking at me. They're all, like, writing, and it's like, and, and then they go like this, and then would say, well, what about this? And then they started showing me things, and it was the most extraordinary thing, and then we'd pin them up on the wall, and then we had our, this thing that went, our wall that went around the whole room, and we just worked out every single moment of this this idea and it was just it's that great thing where you're just creating mm. and one thing I think that's so gone in the world it's very difficult to get studios to understand this and that is process because it takes time it's not something that just happens like that people want quick quick fast fast done done let's see it opening night go show us it's like no so but I will I mean that's why I love working with Disney so much because they gave us the process the time to do that work and gave us a long rehearsal process too. We had over 2 months of rehearsal on this movie because it was uh, because it's an original musical, we don't have an out of town, you don't have previews, you're creating it in a room, but they let us have that beautiful process.